Vice President Joe Biden today called America's veterans the backbone of the nation. American warriors never bend, never break, and never, ever, ever yield. And that's why, as I tell every foreign leader I encounter, it's never, never, ever been a good bet to bet against the United States of America, because we have you. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Despite their service to the nation, numerous veterans do not receive the essential services they need. Many say this is especially true in the area of health care, where the Department of Veterans Affairs is trying to recover from a big scandal. VA Secretary Robert McDonnell announced on Monday a major reorganization of the department aimed at better meeting the needs of veterans. Jesse Jane Duff is a retired U.S. Marine Corps gunnery sergeant and a member of the organizing committee for the Concerned Veterans of America, and she joins us from Washington, D.C. Gunnery Sergeant Duff, hello, good to see you. Thank you so much for inviting me. You look marvelous, and may, may I just say Happy Veterans Day, and thanks to you for serving our country. Well, I appreciate that very much. I'm just grateful the Marine Corps kept me and let me join. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, I, I think it was uh, to their advantage. So let me just get right to it. First of all, I just want to get your reaction to the new secretary of the VA, Robert McDonald. Of course, he comes from the corporate world, and he's bringing all his sensibilities from Procter & Gamble into a huge government agency. He has put forth a plan to restructure the VA. What's your take? Well, initially, I was quite impressed that they had gotten somebody from the corporate world, and I thought that that would have helped make the organization much more efficient and effective. But I am disappointed with what he has indicated as his overhaul, because he hasn't addressed some of the key issues that people are still wondering about. Um, he's been focusing on getting a customer service uh, director or chief, and instead, he should be focusing on why he hasn't been able to fire these executives that have been proven to have mismanagement and falsifying records. We still have have executives on the payroll six months later who actually falsified yeah. records in Phoenix and 40 veterans were said to have died because of the delay in care. Yeah, and that is a big problem. The problem with that, though, and as you would certainly know, Jesse, is that it's very difficult to terminate federal employees, so that's going to be a long process even if he's able to do that. Let me jump forward a little bit and talk about his priorities. Uh, do you think he's starting with the correct thing? things first. No, I think that he should be focusing on adjusting the performance rating system that they have, because what caused all these executives to become such terrible managers? Well, in 2012, only one executive had received less than a satisfactory performance rating. So there's a problem right there. Many of these scandals had already surfaced. The bonus structure that they had set up was based upon falsifying these records so that it appeared that they were doing more work than they actually were. So we have to go after that. Customer service is nice. But until you fix what caused all of this mismanagement, you're not going to fix within the VA. And that law that just recently passed by Congress and President Obama signed off on it would have allowed him to fire those executives fast. And he's not using the very law that just passed four months ago. Oh, got it. Got it there. Now, let me ask you this. He's put forth a, a, a proposal to hire immediately 28,000 health professionals, mostly doctors, giving mm -hmm. many of those doctors raises, uh, hoping that that will help cut down on the wait times and allow uh, veterans to be seen faster. This mm -hmm. is a huge department. I think it's a $167 billion governmental agency. Yes. Uh, <laughs> That almost sounds like a drop in the bucket to me. Well, first of all, they have the second largest budget next to DOD. They don't have a money problem. They have a management problem. They have $163.9 billion in their coffer for next year. He's asking for more money for the veterans that are going to be, as they age, from Afghanistan, Iraq. What people have to recognize, though, we have less veterans today than we had 20 years ago when we had World War II, Korea, and Vietnam vets at a peak of health, so or needing health care. So the reality is, is the VA has never been denied any of their budgetary requests that they have asked for. They have the money. So he wants to hire doctors and nurses. That's great. But it goes right back to 
you're not fixing the management problem. You're not fixing the culture of corruption. You can't get anywhere with great doctors and nurses if you've got executives that are still practicing a corrupt culture. Mm, and, indeed. Let me just pivot just a little bit and talk about um, the, the, the military and, and the state of, of services available for veterinary, veterans as we celebrate Veterans Day. Beyond health care, beyond mm. health care, what do you think are the immediate and urgent needs of our veterans? Well, we have to get uh, the sequestration issues addressed because many of our military is not able to do the training that they normally would because of the cuts. So some areas of our squadrons aren't even able to get the flight times that they want. We also have a military that's only gotten a 1% increase in their salary last year and proposed again for this year. That's 0.8% less than the standard cost of living. What that does is it causes your active duty to start having very little pay compared to the cost of living. So we've got to look at that. They're cut a lot of their benefits with an increase in medical copay, co and they're also going to have them pay more out of pocket for their housing. So if the proposals go forward in the next five years, actually a sergeant will lose $5,000 a year. Mm. And that's a big amount of money for somebody who's not making a overwhelming amount of revenue in the first place. Indeed. It's such a huge conversation, but we're going to have to leave it right there yes. for now. Gunnery Sergeant Jesse Jane Duff, thank you so much. It's always Thank great you. to talk to you. Thank you so much for inviting me. And you're watching Arise America.